Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch. So for today's video, like I said, I'm going to do favorites this month. So I'm doing my May favorites. Now I'm going to be sharing more than makeup in here. I'm going to share hair products, food, music. I like watching a lot of those included in favorites, so I wanted to do it myself. And if you like this style, then just let me know and I can keep doing them. And before we get on into the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell beside the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you'd like to know what my favorites are, then please just keep watching. Also, if you're wondering about my makeup look, I did film it. I did a sweat proof and heat proof makeup tutorial, so that's going to be up very shortly. And I'm going to start off with makeup since that's what my channel is mostly about. If you guys have been watching my videos and following along, you know I'm obsessed with this product. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Underpainting Palette. It conceals and corrects any discoloration that you may have. So I have the shade Light here. They have so many different shade ranges. I think they have five or six palettes of these. As you can see, I've hit pan on both of these shades already and this pink shade completely diffuses any discoloration I have underneath my eyes. I've said this so many times in the past and I use the green shade a lot to counter out my redness on my face and any breakouts that I have. I do like the concealers too. I don't reach for them that often. I do like to use them on my chest because I do get chest acne which sucks but it does work for that very well. I have been obsessed with oils too lately and the first what I have here is actually a primer oil and it's from Smashbox. It hydrates my face so nicely, but it doesn't make my skin feel greasy, which is nice because it is an oil, so you would assume it might make your face feel greasy, but it doesn't. It sinks into the skin very nicely and makeup layers on top of it very well. It also layers really well with moisturizer. I've only used it with my It Cosmetics moisturizer, but I really did like the combination and I'm already down to here, which is quite a bit because a little bit of this product goes a very long way. You only need a couple tiny drops and you can just rub it or press it into your skin. And then the next oil I have is the Josie Moran Argan Moonstone Drops. And I'm pretty positive this is just pure argan oil, but it does have some iridescent shimmer to it, which gives it a little bit more of a glow. But it's also really good for your skin. Argan oil is amazing for your skin, so I like to use this sometimes underneath my makeup, but I always put it on before bed at night. And I'm down to here in the bottle, so I'm almost halfway done it. It completely moisturizes my skin all night long, and when I wake up, my skin just feels so nice and smooth. Next, I have a foundation, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this foundation is, but it's fairly new to me. I think a few months I've been using it now, and it is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. It gives amazing full coverage, but still looking smooth and not cakey whatsoever. I am a drugstore foundation girl and I love my drugstore foundations, but this is one of the high-end foundations that I love and it's in my top favorites, along with a couple other drugstore foundations. I really like to wear this one going out and just knowing it's going to make my skin look really smooth. I love this foundation. Next I have a concealer, which I've been talking about non-stop for probably again a few months now, but this is the Revlon Colorstay Concealer. I also really love drugstore concealers. I actually love a lot of concealers, but this one I've been using non-stop for the past few months, and this is the concealer I used in my How to Cover Up Dark Circles video. It just gives such a full coverage effect, but it leaves your under eyes looking so smooth. I'm wearing it right now, and I also like the brightness that it gives, and it just completely covers up my dark circles, and I know that I can count on this concealer. Next product I have is a foundation stick but I actually use it as a cream bronzer. This is the Clinique Chubby in the Nude foundation stick and I have the shade Gargantuan Golden here. Like I said I use it to cream contour. It gives such a beautiful sun-kissed look which I just feel is perfect for summer and even though it is a foundation stick it is not cakey at all and it blends out so nicely. It blends out really well with a beauty blender and with a brush. I do just use patting motion so when I apply it that way it just gives such a smooth finish. This shade goes perfectly with the Havana shade in the Anastasia Contour Kit. If you want to layer on your contour and bronzer like I love to do, then those two shades pair beautifully together. And I just love this so much, I'm probably going to run out of the full stick by the end of summertime because it's literally the perfect shade for summer. So I think that's it for makeup products. I know they're not really fun out there makeup products, but it's what I have been loving recently. I also have a few other favorites that I have to share with you guys, but I'm planning on putting them in a another type of video I'm working on. So I'm gonna save it for that video, but I do have a brush favorite here, and I don't think I've ever been so impressed with a brush before. This is amazing. 
This is the Smashbox Stippling Foundation Brush. It makes your foundation reach its full potential. I usually don't like using a brush for my foundation, but this brush is a miracle worker and I love it. You just hold your brush up here. It has some indents for where you can hold it and that gives you the most full coverage. But if you hold your brush back here with these indents, then you get a lighter coverage. So whatever you want for your foundation, this brush is going to definitely help you get it to where you want. And I especially know if I want my foundation to to be extremely full coverage I will use this brush and this brush specifically with this foundation goes so well together I don't have to go back in with a beauty blender to smooth it out and this brush just does the job perfectly whereas sometimes if I was to use a different brush to place on my foundation then I would have to go back in with a beauty blender to smooth it out because it would leave streaks behind but this brush does not I have one body care item to share with you guys and this is the Sukin I hope I'm pronouncing that right Australian Natural Skincare Hydrating Body Lotion. My mother-in-law actually bought this for me and I have extremely dry skin on my body. It's never not dry and I have to put on lotion immediately when I come out of the shower. I think I'm almost halfway out of it now but I can't really see because it's a uh, brown covering. And another great thing about this lotion is it's sulfate and paraben free and it also has a whole list of things that it's made without. So it doesn't have sodium, laurel, sulfate and a bunch of other things. I have no idea what they are but they don't sound good for your skin, so this product does not have any of those in it. It is also 100% vegan, 100% carbon neutral, and it's Australian owned and made. This also smells delicious. And since it is a natural product, it's not an overpowering scent, it just leaves a little hint, which I really like, because I usually like to wear perfumes and I don't want my body lotion to be overpowering those perfumes, so this is the perfect body lotion for that. And I believe you can find this product at Nature's Fair and natural food stores. They also have a website right here on the bottom, but like always, I will link it down below. I have one hair care item to show you, and they're actually bobby pins. So these are from Goody. I talked about these in my chit chat get ready with me like I said in that video I'm not quite sure if they're new or if it's just a new color they do say new on the packaging but there's this darker gold and then there's a lighter gold with sparkles on them so I don't just know if the patterns new these specific bobby pins do not come out of your hair I have not lost one since I received these I'm actually wearing one of my hair right now I don't know why I'm wearing one bobby pin and one clip but that's just what I'm doing. I'm chronic with losing bobby pins as I'm sure we all are but these ones just grip into your hair and they stay there and they don't go anywhere and I have just been obsessed with these using them every single day. Okay I only have one food favorite but it's this. This is the hurricane mango. I think that's what it's called. Hurricane mango booster juice and I'm obsessed with it. It tastes like summer in a smoothie. That's all I have to say about it because I don't talk about food and I would feel really awkward trying to explain a food item to you guys as I would explain a makeup item, but that's just that. Okay, I think I'm most excited for this because I have been loving watching people's music favorites of the month. I first started with watching Casey Holmes. She included her music favorites in all our favorites videos and then I've just been watching Drive With Me's and they're literally so entertaining to watch. And they give me great new music options to listen to. So I'm gonna share with you some of mine. I'm not gonna show like all of my favorites. That would be way too long. So if you wanna go to my Spotify, I'll link it down below and it's extremely embarrassing because when I signed up, I used my old email address the one I made when I was like 11 years old. And apparently you cannot change your username on Spotify once you make an account. I use my brother's Spotify so I don't have to pay, so I don't really wanna pay for my own and get a new username, so I am stuck with this username. But I will link it down below if you actually wanna find out all my music favorites. I have one ginormous playlist and I put a bunch into a playlist I called May favorites, I think. I'm trying to find it right now. I'm really bad at all other apps, but Instagram, literally like a grandma trying to navigate any other apps except for Instagram. Like Facebook, I suck at as well. And right now I literally cannot find the playlist that I just had made. I'm going to start off with this song because I have to share it. It's so good. I think it's kind of funny. You could say you love me. Turn around and play me. Said you never gonna lie. This song's like really new to me, so I don't know all the lyrics to it, but that's like, I think that's my favorite, favorite one right now. Oh. I don't even know what that word means. 
Just to let you know I won't respond I deleted all your info Cause I wrote about the info Okay, William Singh is so good. Me and my sister are obsessed with him, and not all of his stuff is on Spotify, so you usually have to go to YouTube to listen to. He has a whole channel, but uh, there's some on Spotify. Trace songs is so good. So good. No, you be mad too. This song has been my favorite for like ever. This one's good. This one's like. with black bear
Okay, well, that is it for my May favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the little switch up I did, I'm pretty sure the last time I did a favorites was literally May of last year. So I'm gonna try and start doing them more often because a lot of you have asked me to do favorites videos, so I'm gonna go ahead and do them now. If I have favorites every month, then I will share them with you every month. And let me know if you like the little random things that I put in this video and I can keep doing it. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.